Hi everyone, I want to give you a, a bit of an update of what's going to be happening in uh, 2020. All right, everyone, I'm going to give you an update on 2020 on what's going to be happening with me and the bus. Now, normally, I like to post as many videos as I can once a week, twice a week on a regular basis. Uh, now, as of March or April, you're probably going to see some gaps, or you can expect to see some gaps uh, in how often I post. And the reason for that uh, is uh, last year, uh, January of 2019, our family lost our dad who was our primary caregiver for our mom who has dementia now. She's at home, she knows who we are, but she needs 24-7 supervision uh, you know, because of the dementia. Uh, she can't cook on her own, not safely anyway. So what happened was, uh, with that unexpected death, um, my brother and I, we made some significant changes in our jobs. Uh, we fortunately were made some smart financial decisions quite some time ago so in other words uh, he was able to cut back on some hours initially we were swapping three days back and forth uh, but we had to re we, we reached at some point where both of us had to have some kind of income uh, now our situation is a little bit different uh, he has a wife and kids I do not uh, I was able to rent my house out, so that will give me some income to pay bills. Because uh, essentially what we had to come down to was one of us being here more often than the other. Uh, we're both supporting each other 100%. Uh, I happen to be here five days a week. He's able to give me coverage for uh, you know a couple days and comes over every day. Uh, you know, Give me a little bit of time off, you know, like an hour or so. It's not exact time, but it's enough what I need. So for that reason, uh, the last year we've also had to spend an incredible amount of time sorting through uh, everything he has. Uh, suffice to say, my dad was a collector. Uh, and what some of you may not know, if you haven't seen the previous videos, is what also happened, he had developed a brain tumor which is non-cancerous. Now that's not what, uh, uh, what caused his death, it was a sudden cardiac arrest. However, what this brain tumor did, and we didn't really notice those signs. I mean, look back, hindsight 2020, uh, he was diagnosed maybe six months uh, before he passed and had an operation. But the bottom line, what it did was his rational thinking uh, was being impacted and the impulse thinking was being magnified. So he was, you know, going to yard sales, buying tools, uh, you know, and we really didn't notice what was going on, you know, until we start sorting through. Because tools, as you know, you can put in different places, you really don't necessarily see those things adding up. Uh, but now that we're going through, uh, it's taken us probably the better part of uh, last year to really sort through the, and we're actually still not done yet. So coming this year, we really need to focus on that because these extra things that he um, has, that he was using, uh, that we won't need, uh, we'll be going to support my mom in her home. So again, I appreciate uh, your patience. Uh, I hope you'll stick with me through this. Uh, you know, as I do videos, and I know the quality is going going up and down. I'm gonna try and do the best I can. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, uh, and share.